Hey guys, what's up? This is Nanya from Tech Barrack Solutions and today in this Android tutorial, we will learn how we can install Ubuntu Touch Developer Preview on our Android Nexus devices. The Nexus devices that are supported are Galaxy Nexus, Nexus 4, Nexus 7 and Nexus 10. Make sure you look at the codes of your Nexus devices or else you might end up messing up with your device. For this particular tutorial, we will require Galaxy Nexus or Google Nexus 4 or Nexus 7 or Nexus 10 which should be rooted and also must have either Clockwork Mod Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project installed. Second, we will require two files. One will be the device file and second will be the phablet file. The device file will be different for different Nexus devices. However, the phablet file will be common to all the Nexus devices. Now let's proceed with the downloading of these two files. I have posted the link for this website in the description and also in the video. So visit this link and once you visit this link, you have to download the device and the phablet file. So if you are having a Google Nexus 10, then you, Nexus 7, then you need to go for the grouper file, which is the first one. If you are having Google Galaxy Nexus, then you need to go for Maguro, that is 48 MB in size. And th this is the file which I am currently highlighting on your screens. If you are having Nexus 4, then you need to go for Maco. That's the code name for your Nexus 4. And if you are having Nexus 10, then you need to go for Manta. That is the code name for your Nexus 10 device and it's getting currently highlighted on your screens. So this is the device files and now let's scroll down and get the phablet file. The phablet file will be common to all the devices as I told you and it is 481 MB currently. We don't know what size it will be once the final release comes out but this particular file is common to all the Nexus devices. So download these two files and once you have downloaded both these files it will look something like this on your screens so you can see I have a phablet file and other is Maguro file since I was having Galaxy Nexus so I have downloaded Maguro and the phablet file is common to all the Nexus devices Now we need to connect our Galaxy Nexus to our personal computer. So take the standard USB cable and connect it to one of the USB ports of your personal computer. And take the micro USB side of the cable and connect it to your Galaxy Nexus. Once you have connected your Galaxy Nexus or Nexus 4 or Nexus 7 or Nexus 10 on your personal computer. You need to transfer the files of Ubuntu Touch Developer Preview. So I will be transferring it into my internal storage of Galaxy Nexus. And I'll, I will be transferring it inside the folder named Download. So these are the two files. So just transfer them. And I'll be back once the transfer is complete. Once the transfer is complete, just eject your Nexus device. Make sure that your Galaxy Nexus or Nexus 4 or Nexus 7 or Nexus 10 is rooted before you install Ubuntu Touch Developer Preview. And if it is rooted and has Clockwork Mod Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project installed on it, then just open the back cover and just remove the battery. Just reconnect the battery and close the cover. After that, press the volume up and down and the power button together. Now you are in the main section where you can choose the recovery option that's the recovery mode by pressing the volume down button and once you come to the recovery mode just press on the power button and it should open clockwork mod recovery or team win recovery project depending on which recovery you have installed 
so as you can see it opens up in my case it is clockwork mod recovery with optimus prime logo i know it's it looks pretty cool so i installed it now you need to go to wipe data or factory reset by pressing the volume down button and click on the power button and then select delete all user data and wait for a few seconds or few minutes once that is done you need to go down to wipe cache partition and then say yes wipe cache once the cache has been wiped you need to go to advanced and you need to wipe the dalvik cache after that you need to wipe the battery stats once that is done go back and now you need to go to install zip from SD card and choose internal storage or external SD card depending on where you have transferred your files of Ubuntu Touch developer preview I have transferred it to the download folder of my internal storage so I will go to choose zip from SD card and after that I will select my SD card 0 that is basically my internal storage and then I will go to the download section and there I have two files of Ubuntu Touch developer preview first is the device file and second is the phablet file so first we will install the device file the device file is approximately 50 MB and it is a small size file and you will come to know depending on which device you are using so mine is Galaxy Nexus that's Maguro that is the GSM model so let me go back to the download section I'm sorry for that yeah so I'll go for the device file first and select yes and wait for a few seconds once the device file has been installed we need to install the phablet file and so we'll again select choose zip from SD card and over there we'll go to our internal storage and over there we'll go to the download section or whichever location you have transferred the Ubuntu touch file and after that you will download the phablet file so just select that click on yes and that's it just wait for a few seconds or few minutes once this installation is done you just need to go back and then click on reboot system now and just wait till we get our hands on Ubuntu Touch developer preview so we have Ubuntu Touch developer preview installed on our Galaxy Nexus if you were using Nexus 4, Nexus 7 or Nexus 10 you will get Ubuntu Touch on your devices too so this is the same procedure guys I hope you like this tutorial guys please rate, comment, subscribe and visit techbarrack.com